and get a hold of the jury list. Investigate every man on it. Go to their homes dressed up as a Bible salesman or, or, or tell them that your automobile broke down, but get inside their homes. Look around, see what kind of money they've got, see what kind of books they've got on their shelves. You can tell a lot about a man by what he reads. I want to know who's friend and who's foe. It's going to cost, Mr. Darrell. Whatever it takes, Bird. I don't know where you're getting your information. You want to go back to Mr. Fredericks and talk about the deal I made with... James was with you, right? The two Jim, of you. So what? Jimmy, Jimmy, Matt, right? Where was John? I'm not going to tell you anything about John. Where'd you get the dynamite? Captain Where'd you get the dynamite? I got the dynamite. You got the dynamite, dynamite, right? And the two of you blew up the time building that night. Jim. It gets worse. They found a fellow who says he sold Jimmy McNamara dynamite on four separate occasions in the past year. The last time was three days before the Times explosion. Reasonable doubt, Bert. Just give me reasonable doubt. tell the district attorney that uh, Mr. Darrow had no knowledge of your crime? Yes, yeah, first I did, yes. Well, why'd you change your mind, Bert? Because he offered you a deal? No, because I wanted to protect Mr. Darrow, because I felt loyal to him. Because... Now, even though I knew what I was doing was wrong. The district attorney told you he didn't want you, didn't he? I mean, we want Darrow. Isn't that what he said? Well, he told me to tell him if Darrow was involved, yes. But you said he wasn't involved. At first I did, yes. That was a lie? Well, uh, yes. Hmm. Then you said he was in it. At first I did, yes. And that was a lie, too? No. <sighs> yes. But how do we know you're not lying now, Bert? Oh, uh, because the fact is, they told you they wanted to get Darrow. And you lied for them, didn't you, Bert? That'll be all, Mr. Franklin. Hey, hey, wait a minute. 